Get information straight from the horse's mouth to supersize very business. Sharon Hornell's from here. Our communication-related idiom to date is straight from the horse's mouth. And this idiom, I'm sure we've talked about it before in the last couple of years, but it means it's actually from British horse racing. It became popular in the 1920s when horse racing was really, really popular. It still is in some areas of the world today, but it was really popular in the 1920s in a lot of places. And what it means is to get your information as close to or directly from the source whenever possible because it's the most accurate source of information. So this had to do with uh, talking to and who you got your information from before you bet on the horse races. Did you get it the closer to the horse itself, the, the trainers, the stable boys, etc., knew things about the horses that other people didn't, supposedly experts in the racing field. So the closer you could get to the horse itself, the better, more reliable the information. This actually appeared, it was first recorded in a London newspaper called the, the Reynolds newspaper in 1896, but it was used in such a way that it, it was assumed to be common knowledge. So there's probably earlier uh, examples of it in writing, but they weren't really available on the internet when I was looking this one up. So what does it mean? How do we use it in our business? It means get first-hand information. Do your own digging. Do your own research. Look into things. Don't shortcut the process of investigating things, especially if it's information that you're using for your business that you're relying on to make projects, to uh, make big decisions, to make big moves in your business. Don't rely on sources that may or may not be reliable. Make sure that you're considering the source whenever you're hearing information or whenever you're exposed to information. Yeah, you heard it from your vendor's salesperson, but how reliable is that source? Did they hear it from the person that it's got to do with directly? Or is it one of those things that's played the telephone game and gone through a couple of people before it went to them? And so it's been convoluted and the information really isn't accurate at all. We've all played the telephone game at school and seen how messed up a message can get from the first to the fifth person, much less the first to the 30th person. So consider the source, make sure you're going directly to the source of information whenever possible. And I say, test it yourself. If you, if you aren't sure about the source of the information, do tests. We do it in marketing and in business all the time. We do little test markets to see if the product or idea we have is really something that people want or not. Sure, we might think it is, but a lot of times what we think is incorrect or just the opposite of what people want. And the only way to know is to actually go out and test it. So I'd love to know your experience with this particular idiom or expression straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, it's one of the reasons I don't watch the media anymore because I realized that in the 1980s, what was being presented to us back then was not real or from the source. We've gone away from back then even the journalistic who, what, where, when, why, and how. And today it's just basically a regurgitation of propaganda and what will get the most views and the most attention. It has nothing to do with the truth, the source, the facts at all. Very seldom anyway. So share in the comments below your experience with Straight from the Horse's Mouth. Have you relied on information that you thought was accurate in the past but wasn't? I know I have. You only get burned a couple of times doing that before you do your own homework, do your own research, uh, investigate. And there's a lot of ways to do that nowadays. You can hire private investigators. You can hire skip tracing organizations. You can go online and do searches for like a couple of bucks, under a hundred bucks. You can do a, a people search. You can do a court search, etc., to find out the information that you need to make the best decisions and choices for your business. All right, have an awesome day. I will be with you tomorrow with another communication-related idiom. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, see you tomorrow.